The movie starts with CIA agent Marcus in his car in front of some people playing basketball. He was in the center of a CIA scandal. Among the kids, Marcus sees Reverend Clarence and goes out of his car to follow him to the church. He walks in and greets Clarence with an offer, but the Reverend asks him to confess his sins. Marcus starts the story with the meeting he had with his handler, Dietrich, who commends him for a job well done on a previous mission and gives him his next task, Red Valley's Corporation, a major hedge fund that has invested a lot of money in oil explorations in Africa. When things didn't go well, they gave money to an arms dealer named Smith to get guns for rebels to topple the government. Marcus is to infiltrate Smith's organization and take out both him and Redvale. So Marcus takes the case and leaves. On the flight, Marcus sees Smith reading a newspaper and gets his gun ready. Meanwhile, Redvale was on the phone when he learned that the money for Smith was ready. Smith is talking about how corrupt Wall Street is while sitting on the plane. It soon lands, and he is welcomed by a team of security and gets out of the plane accompanied by Marcus, who also acts as a security detail. As they drive away, they are being tailed by the CIA, who are waiting for a signal from Marcus before they can take any action. He calls them and gives the signal, and everyone else is on schedule, but Smith doesn't feel too well. On the helicopter, Dietrich gets killed by Floria, and the mission is taken over by Xander. Smith is having a heart attack, and Marcus goes to help, while the driver heads to the hospital, but he is being chased by the other agents and the helicopter who are confused by what's going on. The driver evades the agents as they make their way through the city, so they choose to shoot down the driver. So Marcus has to take control of the car after throwing out the body. He loses the chasing car and heads for the hospital. At the hospital, Smith is taken in for surgery while Marcus follows close behind, but he can't follow him into the room. He stays at reception and gives the information to the doctor, Rachel. Marcus stays at reception and is being looked at weirdly by the guard. The CIA arrived and set up to cover every angle of the hospital, while Xander and Floria landed on the roof. Meanwhile, the hospital guards find the car that had the window shot on the back, call in it. The agents get to the hospital before the police arrive and call their contact to call off any police that might be responding to the hospital call, so they turn off their sirens and stop their approach. Inside the hospital, Marcus gives up his gun to the guards. The doctor tells him that Smith is stable and in the ICU which the agents pick up, Marcus is actually a diabetic and needs some sugar to stay alert. So the doctor gets him to sit down and wait for the nurse, who takes him to the other side of the hospital for a test. After seeing Marcus leave, the agent quickly makes his way through the halls and lures the guards to a room, where he pulls out his gun and shoots them both. Meanwhile, Smith is in the operating room, where the doctor is checking his heart. That's when the agent sees him and informs the others of his location. Marcus is talking to the nurse while he gets his blood sugar tested. The agent finds the room where Marcus is at. Marcus hears some movement behind him. Marcus wants to know where Smith might be, and she was about to take him there when the agent shoots and kills her. He keeps looking by, pulling the curtains, but Marcus surprises him, and a fight starts where Marcus expertly takes down the agent. He grabs the gun, the nurse's tag, his jacket, and walks out. The others are in the elevator while Marcus also calls for it. He gets an odd feeling, so he chooses to take the stairs. Another agent spots Marcus in the stairway and gets orders to take him out. The two get into a gunfight, but neither are hit. The agent is climbing down while Marcus uses the car to escape to the second floor hall, scaring the people with his gun. This is the psych ward, and the patients here get in the way, but one of them knows a way out through the vents. He gets the patients to one corner, and as he gets ready to get into the vent, Another agent drops down from it, and they get in a fight that Marcus wins again with his superior skills by kicking him in the neck and killing him. He then climbs into the vents and finds a small door. Xander and Floria can't get to the agents, so he sends her to find out what is going on. Xander goes to the room where Smith is located and tells the doctor that he wants to take him, but she's in the middle of a procedure, so he can't travel. So, Xander just points a gun at them to force their hand. Xander makes Rachel give Smith an injection to get him more alert, despite his condition. Marcus meets with Floria in a violent way, as they try to shoot each other. She knows him personally, so she tells him that Dietrich is dead, and the mission has taken a turn. Meanwhile, Rachel makes a deal with Xander to do the procedure before giving Smith the drug, to make sure he stays alive. At the same time, Marcus uses a metal trolley to block the bullets, as he makes his way across the hall and away from Floria, who can't get a shot, so she tries to tempt him with the 100 million dollars. 
she accidentally shoots a worker, letting Marcus escape. Xander sends one more agent to get Marcus, who is running for the hall while being chased by Floria. She is still trying to convince him to take the deal, but he just stays silent and keeps shooting and running until he gets to a dead end. So, he has to face her head on. As she keeps talking, he shoots a fire extinguisher on her face and uses the distraction to escape, but she is still on his tail. Marcus shoots another agent and gets to the elevator before she could catch him. He is headed to the fourth floor and shoots the guard at the door and drags his body out of view, but he gets caught by another agent who throws him around like a rag doll. Marcus had to use his superior martial arts skills to take down the man and snap his neck, but he gets caught by Floria. Meanwhile, Rachel is still working on Smith's heart when Floria brings Marcus into the room, and Xander tells Smith that his guard Marcus has been CIA this whole time. Marcus isn't happy that they killed Dietrich, his mentor, so he promises Xander he will kill him. So they knock him out. They rush Rachel, who is doing the best she can. So. They get him some supplies and put him in a wheelchair. They also want Rachel, so she gets a bag and follows them. As they leave, Xander shoots the nurse left behind. In the present, Marcus tells all of this to the Reverend. He has been betrayed by his friends, and now he has nothing. Clarence asks to know more, so Marcus continues with his story. Gloria, Rachel, and Xander make their way to the elevator with Smith in the chair. They get to the lobby and simply walk out like nothing happened. They load Smith into the van, along with Rachel. Xander calls the police using his contact to frame Marcus for the murders at the hospital. Smith isn't phased because they will not make it out once they get to Red Valet's building. Xander is upset, but he needs him alive, so he restrains himself. Smith tells them about Red Valet doesn't care about money and only wants power, so he won't give Xander any money. Meanwhile, Marcus wakes up to find the nurse next to him shot dead, so he runs out and collects himself to find Xander and Floria and uses the stairs until he gets to the first floor. When Xander and the others get to the Red Valet building, Marcus makes it out of the hospital. He takes an ambulance and drives away. Xander and the others get reception to call Red Valet, while Marcus drives the ambulance to get there in time. They get to the Red Valet, and Jane is concerned about Smith's health, but she will get them to Red Valet after he gets out of the call. Marcus is still driving the ambulance like a madman, and he's getting close. Jane tells Red Valet about the situation, so he decides to go check it out himself. He meets Smith and urges him to go to the hospital, but Red Valet doesn't want to do the deal right now. But Xander tells him to stay, which rubs Red Valet the wrong way, so he tells him to go away and come back when Smith is feeling better. And when the agents pull the gun, so do Red Valet and the guards. Xander plainly asks for the money, but Red Valet is not letting this happen easily. That's when Xander tells him that he has all this illegal information on him, since they are CIA. After shooting the guard, they take Red Valet to call the vault and get the money ready. Then, Xander shoots Jane too. Red Valet tries to get them to work for him, but they don't want to. As they walk into the vault, Xander shoots the guards. He gets Red Valet to open the door, and they finally get the money. Everyone starts packing the cash, while Xander can't seem to wipe the smug smile off his face. Marcus finally gets to the building and makes his way inside. He runs down to the vault and sees all the dead guards on the ground. He hides and makes his way closer. Meanwhile, Smith tells Rachel to tell him he is getting weaker, as Xander tells his men to get the money to the roof to meet the helicopter. But Marcus gets to the agents first and takes his money, alerting Xander and Floria. Xander is regretting not killing Marcus, so he tells him to take the bag of money and go away. But Marcus doesn't care about the money, or Smith, who is feigning getting weaker. So Xander takes Rachel as a hostage to get Marcus to leave them alone, and he gives up his gun, but saves Rachel. After getting her outside, Marcus goes goes back in. Inside, Smith tries to lunge at Floria, but she shoots him and gets in a fight with Red Valet, where he knocks her out and locks her in the vault, but she uses a knife to kill him. Xander comes back and opens the vault for them to escape with the bags. They get back out, and when the elevator doesn't work, they shoot the guard and take the keycard. That's when Marcus appears from behind and shoots Floria. He couldn't get Xander, who gets in the elevator. At the stairs, the helicopter is almost there, and Xander gets to the roof. The police arrive with SWAT to the the building and move inside. Marcus also gets to the top floor, just as the police come to take him. He gets to the rooftop as well, and Xander gets ready to ambush him. A shootout starts, but Marcus manages to disarm Xander, and now it's all about hand-to-hand -hand combat. The fight starts, and after some back and forth, it's clear that Marcus is much better
better than Xander, and breaks his arm and also his leg before breaking his neck, killing him. The police comb through every floor, but can't manage to find Marcus, who has escaped using a back door. The movie ends as it starts, in the church, with the Reverend and Marcus praying together. Marcus leaves the church, leaving the bag of money there, and enjoys the basketball game outside. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.